Welcome to this episode of Airsoft Pacific's Airsmithing and Airsoft Tips and Tricks. Today, we're going to show you two ways to clean the inner barrel of your replica. On a skill scale of 1 to 3, this is a 1. You will need the following items. Your replica, a cleaning rod, some cleaning patches, and some denatured alcohol. Not the isopropyl alcohol from the medicine cabinet. I prefer to use shotgun cleaning patches and cut them down. Standard 22 caliber patches can also work, but are just a bit small. The first method, and not preferred, is cleaning the inner barrel while it's still in the replica. The problem with this method is it forces you to pull the patch back out, and if you're not careful, you can damage the bucking. Determine how far you can insert the cleaning rod without pushing the patch through the bucket. Mark the cleaning rod for reference. Install the patches and then spray with your denatured alcohol. I keep a spray bottle handy as I use denatured alcohol for many cleaning jobs. Run the patches down the barrel, turning the rod. Make sure to stop at the mark, and then remove the rod. Swap out the patches and run the rod down the barrel again. This barrel is a little dirty, but I'm switching to dry patches for the next few runs.
Now for the preferred method, removing the inner barrel from the AEG. This is an old KWA, and only the back pin needs to be removed, and then it opens like a real M4. The barrel's already been cleaned, but we're going to run wet patches again. This time, push the rod completely through the barrel. And yes, don't forget to remove your marking tape if it's still on the cleaning rod. You can still see there's a lot of oil in the very end of the barrel and on the bucking. Keeping this area clean and oil free greatly improves the consistency of your shots. We're going to cut more wet patches. You can see a huge difference the second time. Now run some dry patches. Check your bucking and make sure it looks good and do any final cleanup. Everything looks great. That's it. Time to put it all back together and test fire. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of AP's Airsmith and Airsoft Tips and Tricks. Please stay tuned for future episodes.